Hi Capricorns and welcome to Intimate Goddess Tarot. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading from March 8th through the 14th. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at IntimateGoddessTarot at gmail.com. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here we go. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to 14, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Okay. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Capricorns in Love from March 8th to the 14th. There we go. And at the bottom of the deck, we have <clears throat> the Six of Cups. Okay. So let's see what we got, Capricorns. Okay. Okay. So we have a we have the Tower and the Fool. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> so some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could be dealing with a Fire Sign, a Sag, Leo, Aries. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or you could be dealing with an Earth Sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so it looks like here there was a tower moment. There's a tower moment and it's causing a person to go right ahead and take a leap of faith. They want to, this person wants a whole entire new start. You feel very passionate about this, taking this new start and you're going to go after it. And you're walking away. You could be walking from a committed relationship, a family. So let's find out what's going on here. Let's find out. Let's start with the tower. Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information with the tower. Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information on the tower. There we go. Okay, you no longer hold him up. Look, we got the Queen of Wands again. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Strength card in reverse. So you're no longer holding back. You're going after what you want. You're going to go right ahead and take a leap of faith. There was a tower moment here. You're no longer having anxieties. You're no longer worrying about anything. You're going to go right ahead and take this leap of faith. Let me get one more for the tower. Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information on the tower. Why is this tower here? Okay. Okay, so somebody wasn't working with you. 
the three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody wasn't working with you. Somebody wasn't cooperating with you. They was holding back. But either way, whoever was holding back, you're moving on. You're taking on a leap of faith. Please get more information on the fool. Why is the fool here? Please get more information on this fool. Please get more information on the fool. Why is the fool here? Please get more information on the fool. Why is the fool here? Please get more information on the fool. Please get more information on the fool. Why is this fool here? Okay. So, what we have here. So, we have the Knight of Swords. We have Justice. And we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So, you're releasing all burdens. Anything that was stressing you out, if you were stressed out, over, overwhelmed, whoever this person is. Keep in mind, this can go vice versa. So, if I'm not picking up, if this is not your energy, I could easily be picking up the other person's energy. And this also applies to men. So, if you need to flip this, then by all means, go right ahead and flip it. But you're going to go right ahead and take a leap of faith here because you are determined. You're charging in. Justice needs to be served here. The scales need to be balanced out. And you're releasing all burdens. Anything that was burdened to you, that was stressing you out, that was overwhelmed, that was overwhelming you, you are releasing that. You are letting it go and you're moving on because you want yourself a new beginning. Let's find out about this Queen of Wands here. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please give more information. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. You could have been heartbroken. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Please give more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Wow. Yeah. We have the three of swords here, so you could be heartbroken or you could have been part of a three-party situation. But we have the ace of wands here. So you want a new start and you want stability with the ace of wands here. I mean with the ace of pentacles, you want stability here. And we have the ace of pentacles twice. So you definitely want a new beginning. You was either hurt here. I'm going to find out more about this Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords. Please give me more information on the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Please give me more information on the Three of Swords. Please give me more information on the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Please give me more information on the Three of Swords. Please give me more information on the Three of Swords. Please give me more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information. Please get more information on the three of swords. Please get more information. Okay. Okay, so you could have been hurt. We have the five of wands. So this there was there's conflict. There was conflict between you and this person, or you guys could have been having arguments, fighting, disagreements, but there was conflict between the both of you guys. And we have the Two of Cups in reverse, and we have Judgment in reverse. So somebody is like, somebody's not being given a second chance here. No. A second chance is not being given here because you want a new beginning. You want a new beginning. You want stability, and you're very passionate about this. You want to go after what you're passionate about, and you are no longer passionate about this connection right here. You are leaving it. You guys could have been fighting a lot. There could have been lots of fighting, arguments, disagreements. I mean, there was conflict, and somebody wants a second chance here, and you're like, nope, sorry, not happening. Nope, no second chances. You're not giving this person a second chance. They already hurt you. You could, for some of you guys, this could have been a three-party situation. For some of you guys, it wasn't a three-party situation. But either way, whether it was or it wasn't, you're not giving this person a second chance. No second chances. You want a new start. Let's find out about this Ace of Pentacles. 
Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. We have, what do we have here? We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Five of Wands. I mean, not the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. The five of Pentacles. So, somebody here, as the Queen of Swords, she's going to tell it how it is. Because the Queen of Swords, she's cutthroat. She tells you what she got to tell you in your face. She does not care. She is not going to put up with your BS. If you're not serving her, she's going to cut you out. And when she communicates, she communicates the truth. And it's going gonna, it's gonna, to come across kind of brutal, harsh, rude, whatever. But she's telling you the truth in your face. And somebody here could have had options. Somebody here could have had options. Or they could have just felt confused. And but either 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 way, this someone here is feeling left out in the cold. Someone here is feeling left out in the cold. I'm gonna get more on the Ace of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ace of Pentacles. And look, we have the Empress here. So now you know your worth. Now you know your worth because you're moving on. Please give me uh, more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ace of Pentacles. Please give me more information. What is this? Wow. I could pick up these cards. We got the fool again. You're taking that leap of faith. You're moving on. Because you now know your worth. This person could have been... This person could have been... Um, this person had options. This person, they could have had options. And it was overwhelming for you. It was stressing you out. This person was not cooperating with you. They were not cooperating with you. They were not making adjustments. Uh, and... <laughs> This person that was not, you know, they were not cooperating with you. They were not making adjustments. And you guys were constantly fighting, arguments, having disagreements. And you just got tired of this. And now, and you're not giving this person a second chance at all. Because you want a new beginning. You're tired of this situation. You're tired of it. You want a new beginning. You, and the opportunity is here for you to have the new beginning. The opportunity is here. Sorry, Capricorns. And um, the opportunity is here for you. So, and you're telling this person exactly how it is. Because now you know your worth. Because if this person had options, you're now in empress status. You are in empress status now, so you know your worth. You know it. And you want a new beginning. And you want, it, you want new beginnings. You want expansion. You want growth. And not with this person. And you're ready to take this leap of faith. You're ready to take the leap of faith, not with this person, because you're not taking them back. No, you're not. Uh-uh. You're leaving. You're moving on. And then we got the Eight of Cups here again. We got the Eight of Cups. You're moving on. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Please, move, please give me more information on the Eight of Cups, because you're moving on to abundance. You want your Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. 
Damn, <laughs> Capricorn, your ass is leaving. Leaving, leaving, leaving. Look, so we have the Five of Swords, the Chariot, and the King of Cups. So, you guys are leaving. You are walking away from all these, from all the damn mind games, the fighting, the arguments. You walking away from all that shit. Because you don't want nothing to do with it. You're fed up. You're done. You are fed up. The Queen of, the, the queen of Swords, when the Queen of Swords comes out, it's because she's fed up already. She's not going to deal with it any longer. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. You guys are fed up already. You're done with the mind games. You're done with the fighting and the arguments. And... So you're walking away, you hopping on, you, you walking away, you running, you're jogging, you hopping on your motorcycle, and you're leaving. You're leaving because there's someone here, there's someone else here that's the King of Cups that's offering you something. I'm going to get some more information. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Please give me more information. Ooh, Capricorn. Ooh. Look at that. We got the Queen of Cups here. And you guys are looking directly at each other. Look at that. Ooh, so there's somebody else here, Capricorn. Let me get some more. Let me find out more about this shit right here. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Please get more information on the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Ooh, whoever this person is, you feel very passionate about them because we got the King of Wands. Either that or you guys have two men. For my females, you probably guys got two men. For my men, you probably got two females, two people in the picture. But if it's not two men, if it's not two people, it, uh, if it's not two people, this could be the same person here that you feel very passionate about. You're very attracted to them. You find them to be sexy as hell. And you actually care for this person. You love them. And you want to be with them. For me, the way I'm seeing it right here, some of you guys, it may be two people. For some of you guys, it's the same person. This is the same person. You feel very passionate about this person. This person feels the same way about you because we got the king and queen here. So you guys feel very passionate about each other. You're very attracted to each other sexually with your clothes on and clothes off. You guys, are, both of you guys are ambitious go-getters. You go after what you want. And this is a person that you want to be with. This is a person that you, you're leaving all of this behind to be with this new person here. Because you feel you could have your ten of cups, your ten of pentacles with that person. And not with the other person that you was with, that you was busy uh, playing mind games. That they was busy, that you was arguing and playing mind games. That was playing mind games with you. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's find out about the ten of pentacles. Please get more information on the ten of pentacles. Why is the ten of pentacles here? Please get more information on the ten of pentacles. Why is the ten of pentacles here? Please give more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Hierophant. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So, and we have the Eight of Cups again. So you're leaving all this stuff behind. All this stuff behind and you're moving on to the Ten of Pentacles with somebody else that wants commitment. Somebody else and this other person that you that you with, I mean the other person that you're going towards, this this person is single. They're actually a single person, but they want commitment. They want commitment. They want their ten of cups. You got the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles. 
and this person wants commitment. So whoever this person is, they want commitment. So this is one of those long-term relationships that can lead to a marriage. This can lead to a marriage with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and the hair Hierophant. This could lead to marriage, this connection. This person is single right now, and they want commitment. And this is somebody from the past that you already know because we have the Six of Cups here. So you know who this person is. Please get more let me find out more. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. I'm not taking any more. I think that's more than enough. We have the star. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, and this could be a wish come true for you. And we have the Three of Cups. So this is you guys reuniting. You guys reuniting because, like I said, you may know this person. This person could be from your past, either a past life or one of your exes. And you guys are reuniting again. And this is a wish fulfillment. If you're not dealing with an Aquarius, this is simply a wish fulfillment. This is a, simply a wish fulfillment because you're getting your Ten of Cups your ten of, and your Ten of Pentacles and you're now happy. You're getting the commitment that you wanted and this could lead to marriage. You're getting it. You're reuniting with this person. This person's taking you out. They're whining you and dining you, showing you a good time. And this is a wish fulfillment for you. And you're happy here. You are very happy. You are done with all of that and wow. Capricorn, this is a really good reading. This is a really good reading. So you're fed up with everything and you have yourself someone new. Someone that wants commitment. Wow, that's really, this is really good. This is a good reading, Capricorn. Really good reading. Okay, so let's get you a guidance message here. Please give me a guidance message for Capricorns. Please give me a guidance message for Capricorn. Please give me a guidance message for Capricorn. Team spirit, work together as a team, cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your weeklies. You guys take care and be safe and uh, stay cool, Capricorns.